Hi everyone, welcome to our little holiday vlog and uh, this is our first stop on the way, Brodsworth Hall so we just want to stretch our legs here um, I think it was about halfway up to the caravan site so um, yeah, hope you're enjoying our little vlog it's just going to be a little bit of what we saw um, I'm hoping it'd be int of interest to you, you know, especially if you don't live locally. If you live maybe in a different country, it might be nice to see some of our sites. So, Brodsworth Hall is a Victorian house. Obviously, a very well-to-do well family own this house. <laughs> Just very nice to look round. Oh, here's a little cat. Um, apparently this cat lives in the village and he's got a brother called Gary. <laughs> it's a very sweet cat. The lady didn't know what his name was unfortunately. Lovely all the gardens. the beautiful autumn colours on the trees. Oh, yeah, lots of uh, pheasants running around. Just saw one there. Really interesting this landscaped garden this one was. It reminded me a bit of the uh, Eden Project. And the next day we went into Filey itself, which we were staying near Filey. And this was a little restaurant that we ate at called Charlotte's. Um, apparently Charlotte Bronte visited Filey at one point. Um, I think she was in the hospital there or something. So there's a little bit of Filey. It's only a little village, so we didn't really do a heck of a lot there. And the next day we went into Whitby. Had a look round the uh, Abbey. selfie time. <laughs> I just set up my um, phone next to the camera and I've got my selfie stick there. It's got like a Bluetooth little shutter button on it. So yeah, a little selfie. I like to take selfies while we're on holiday and I've got a little printer and I print them off and I put them on a um, 
set of lights, it's got little clips on it. I think I showed that in the last holiday vlog. And here we are at the Magpie, the most famous fish and chip shop in Whitby. A little bit pricey, but the food is always very nice, very fresh. And big. <laughs> small and the next day we went on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway which departed from Whitby and we went to uh, Gotham and there was a stop on the way I can't remember what it was called and um, we couldn't go all the way to Pickering because uh, we'd missed the first train of the day so we had to go for a later one so the uh, lovely man in the office said, why don't you go to go with them? Um, that station was used in the Harry Potter films and also there's a village there. Um, if you live in the UK, you might have heard of a program called Heartbeat and that was filmed there and you'll see some of that in a few minutes. There's the steam train attaching itself. Oh yeah, it's Gothland, yeah, this is where we stopped. Had a nice hot chocolate in the cafe. And then wander into the village. The train's going on to Pickering, but we decided not to do go all the way because it would have meant just coming straight back on that same train. And obviously we're big Harry Potter fans, so having a few selfies on the uh, platform that we used in the first film was a, a nice opportunity. vintage vehicles because that uh, TV program was set in the 60s so some of these vehicles were actually used in the show so probably the uh, main source of income for this little tiny little village is the uh, tourism All that show. here's a little bit of footage of the train journey itself
We are coming back into Whitby now. You can see the Abbey on the hill. And then we went to have something to eat. We just had a light bite because we had food waiting at home as well. But we wanted something to eat because we knew we wouldn't be getting back till late. We did the Illuminated Abbey on the evening, which was really, really cool. Really cool. So we missed the Whitby Goth Fest by um, it was the following weekend after we'd come home, which is a shame because I would love to go and, go and do that one one day um, but yeah so we did get to do this which was really fun there are lots of bats flying around <laughs> here we are toasting some giant marshmallows over a great big brazier it was a little bit difficult to do and the fire was quite low and I was worried that I was going to lose my marshmallows <laughs> Yeah, they did this really well. I just love the way the lights show up the uh, stonework and you can see some of the details and the masonry. Really, really nice. They also had um, a play sort of thing going around. You'll see some of that in a moment. I did record some of that. Um, and they did two showings of that so the first time it was showing it was quite busy so we kind of wandered off and had a look around the abbey itself and all the illuminations and then on the second showing a lot of people had gone home by then so it was a little bit quieter so we could see everything a bit better so yeah um i don't know if i caught any of the any footage of the man who was walking around dressed kind of gothy and like Dracula can speak to me. <laughs> it was very cool. Very cool. Um, we'd seen him wandering around the town during the day as well and he was talking to people. Lovely spooky effects. You probably see some bats in this footage, if I remember rightly. This is where I was trying to record the bats flying around. Yep, there is one just there. some um, kind of fluorescent bats hanging over the uh, the lake oh no it's not a lake sorry the little pond I think, I think it was an old fish pond um, and obviously uh, they had a, a blue light shining on it so that the little bats would show up and they were really cool Here we go, this is the play. This is the first time I think I missed. Quite a bit of it. Oh, I don't think I recorded any of it a bit closer up, which is a shame. 
So this evening, um, when we got back to the caravan, it was quite late. And unfortunately, I was feeling unwell and had to go to the urgent care centre. I um, had a water infection, so I had to get some antibiotics for that. So the next day, obviously, we were both pretty tired. Um, we didn't get back to the accommodation until uh, I think it was about quarter to two in the morning so we just kind of took it easy the next day we had a little look at Bridlington um, we had to go in the arcades um, yeah it was a bit misty that day and a bit dreary kind of matched my mood I think but the next day we went into Scarborough and the, the, the weather had lifted and I was feeling a lot better um, yeah, Scarborough's got a lot of arcades as well, so we did the arcades. Um, <laughs> they want to show you this amazing pound coin. <laughs> I don't can't really remember why he was doing that. Um, yeah, so there's the arcades. And you can see the castle on the hill there. We didn't do the castle this time, we've done that before though. Uh, well, yes, we went on the Hispaniola, a little pirate ship. It was about a 15 minute journey out into the sea or the harbour, which was lovely. It was a nice little jaunt out. We got some nice video footage of, uh, of Scarborough from the, the harbour side. Oh yes, we had some donuts. 
on the beach. Obviously it was a little bit cold so we didn't, um, we had our coats on and didn't take our shoes off or anything but we just sat on the edge of the beach and our lovely donuts, nice hot donuts. And there's the Hispaniola on another little jaunt so that's the, the boat that we were on. It's only a little thing but yeah it was a nice little, nice little ride. And then the next day we went to the Sea Life Centre in Scarborough. We've never done it before. I'm not quite sure why we didn't do it before. Maybe because it's not actually in the centre of Scarborough. It's more... It's, it's a little bit further up the bay. We had a nice little Halloween set up there on the beach. Lee loves the rays, they always seem to come towards him. <laughs> I think it's got something to do with the sensors that can sense you when you stand near the electromagnetic sensors or something like that, I don't know. But yeah. Real cute. <laughs> Some sharks in the bottom there. There is uh, quite a lot of footage from the Sea Life Centre. Never seen these before, they look like underwater daisies. Very cool. Jellyfish display was really good. Tiny little jellyfish. Actually, quite relaxing to watch jellyfish. I suppose it's like watching a lava lamp. <laughs> Always a fish and more star, a chocolate starfish, chocolate chip starfish apparently and uh, seahorses.
Oh yeah, this was the uh, octopus who was hiding right at the back of the tank underneath the pipe. You can just about see his tentacles moving there. Um, I think he was sitting at the back eating something like a fish. There you go, see his tentacle there. I always find uh, octopus, octopi very difficult to see when you go to these sea life centers, they always tend to hide. There is, yeah, I think it's eating something there. If anyone knows any different, please tell me. It just looked like he was eating something. Couldn't really see, like I say, he was hiding underneath the pipe. This is the most I saw of him. Oh yeah, we had a cup of tea in the uh, little cafe and they wrote that on the uh, lids because obviously it was near Halloween. And then as we were leaving, they announced they were going to feed the seals. So we managed to kind of find a little spot on the embankment outside and peek through the fence. Technically not cheating, we did pay to go in. <laughs> they just announced it as we'd left, so... Yeah, so we watched this. Well, I watched the seals being fed, and they wandered off to find out about the uh, railway line. <laughs> they were really cute little seals. Oh, yeah, And then we went on the uh, North Bay beach for a little bit. I tried to fly my kite, but there wasn't enough breeze. So it just wasn't happening, <laughs> which is sad. And I've managed to fly my kite on this holiday. We tried in a few different places, it didn't work. And then we went on the miniature railway and here's the, uh, the gentleman turning the turntable. So the train could go back in the opposite direction. Very Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> and there was a little trail on the, uh, for the kids. We had to collect all the letters in the pumpkins. So you can see the big pumpkin there.
and then on the way home we stopped off at York and um, I was waiting in the queue here to do the Harry Potter crazy golf only to get all the way inside to the front of the queue for the guy to turn around and say oh I thought you'd booked I thought you said you've booked oh if you've not booked you can't come in so yeah very disappointed I've been looking forward to that for the whole holiday <laughs> didn't realize that it was going to be that busy because the children had broken up so what we did instead was we went to York Minster and we went up the tower tour and that was 275 steps and I'm telling you I felt it the next day <laughs> in my legs but it was lovely um, we got some lovely views from up there uh, yeah and that was that So I hope you enjoyed watching that, it was fun and I will see you again soon.